Hi everybody, Ziv Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master, the surgical training for dentists. Welcome to this video. And in this one, I'm going to review a very important instrument that you must have in your surgical kit when you're performing pedal surgery, specifically crown lengthening and also osteosurgery. It's called the Sugarman file. And it's a double-ended instrument that you're going to use for interproximal bone reduction or interdental bone reduction. And of course, you need to understand why we're reducing interproximal bone, what are the indications, and also how much. But this instrument is relatively easy to use. It's very safe. And you can use it in addition to the crown lengthening burr that uh, is used um, circumferentially around the tooth for vertical bone reduction. Now, there are certain circumstances where the, the crown lengthening burr does not fit in between uh, teeth, especially upper molars. And then you have no other choice but to use uh, the smallest size Sugarman file. So the way we use this instrument is in an in and out motion, back and forth, in the interproximal area. So we're reducing the peak of bone. We do it very slowly, gradually. This instrument has the tendency to get stuck, which is uh, is not fun if this happens. Of course, it's uh, so not difficult to remove, but it may happen. And when you go back and forth, you can reduce the vertical height of bone interproximally. So the best way to use it is to start with relatively small movements back and forth, in and out, in the interproximal area, and once you reduce some level of bone, the interproximal area obviously gets uh, larger, and then you can increase the motions uh, for a safer reduction. Now, uh, the Sugarman file comes in many sizes in uh, length and also uh, in a curved form. There's a, a power of choice, like anything in life, you have too much to choose from. Uh, no need to get too confused. Uh, I typically prefer to have two types of Sugarman files in my surgical kit, one small straight and also one that has a little bit of a curvature. So it helps me to reduce the interproximal bone and simulate a more natural bone architecture interproximally. But the, there's no right or wrong. The choice is yours and um, you know, just have to give it a try and see what works best in your hands. Now, what's very important and th that I recommend you pay attention to is a flat side of the instrument that is atraumatic because when you're reducing bone in between teeth, you can accidentally damage the tooth structure, which is not a good thing. So the instrument should have a cutting side, okay, both sides, but also an atraumatic or a flat side that is facing the teeth on each side. So when you're filing away interproximally, reducing vertical height of bone, you're not going to damage the tooth structure. And that's a very important safety feature of the Sugarman file. So it's definitely a very important tool, very effective and safe. And it's, um, in my opinion, if you're involved with crown lengthening and peritoneal surgery, osteosurgery, it's definitely a must in your surgical kit. I talk about the Sugarman file and all the other important instruments in the surgical kit in the audio program on crown lengthening. It's six hours where I talk about all the indications for functional and aesthetic crown lengthening, how we prepare ourselves for the surgery, our patient, our staff, how to perform these procedures, and also how to deal with Complication. It's pretty elaborate, and um, I spent a lot of time preparing this for you. Uh, it'll also come with a crash course on crown lengthening in an online form. And together, I think it's going to be very useful to you, so I hope you can check it out. Let me know what you think. Now, if you like this video on the Sugarman file, feel free to share it with other dentists and post it on your social media. And if you're interested in more videos, more interesting information, and also announcements on upcoming products and courses from Surgical Master, you can go to surgicalmaster.com and 
sign up. You'll get my weekly video and email. So we can all learn together, get better, have fun in the process, nothing wrong with that, and have surgical success. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.